Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Breaking news has just come in reported from Leicester City Football Club regarding quite a lot of players. So we're going to quickly go into that. But just before we do, smash the likes on the video, hit the subscribe button and make sure you follow me on socials at Lee underscore Chappy. All in the description of the video. Right, let's get straight into it. Breaking. LCFC have announced that Yuri Tielemans... Daniel Amate, Eos Perez, Carlos Hunchu, Napoli's Mendy, and Ryan Bertrand are all leaving the club after their contract expire. None of those players will be returning for the championship season for the 2023-24 campaign. Tete's loan is also up and will not be renewed, and talks are currently ongoing with Johnny Evans and Hamza Chowdhury for an extension for their contracts that are up pretty soon. Ouch. One in particular, I think, a big ouch was Mendy. The one name there of them all that I think we could do with maybe... Because we knew T. Limmons was on his way out. We knew that. But we do need to really look at, at, at extending Napoli's Mendy. I I'm worried. I'm worried now. That's that's what? A seven seven players? It's not looking good. Um talks are ongoing, like I just said, about Johnny Evans. Um this was reported earlier on by uh, Owen Palmer Atkin from for BBC, uh, but it's now spread across Twitter everywhere. In fact, there's an emergency seven o'clock live on Twitter uh, with the uh, the football Twitter, if you follow it, um, with lots of Leicester groups going live at 7 o'clock to talk about it. So we might even scoop into that at some point and see what people are saying over there. Um, but uh, Owen has got this to say. He thinks that the deals for Johnny Evans and the extension for Hamza Chowdhury are smart moves. However, that is a £100 million of transfer fees leaving the club for nothing this summer. But that is a lot considered... Off the wage bill, you know, that is a big, significant amount of, of money coming off the wage bill, which will help maybe restructure, refinance the club going into the championship. But obviously we knew that Carlos Sunchi was on his way out to Atletico Madrid. That's already been reported earlier on. Um, that is, that's a done deal. That's done. Uh, there's no stopping that. Um, but I, it's uh, understanding that LCFC were keen on... On keeping Soyun Chu, um, you know, desperately, uh, but unfortunately, due to him not featuring this season, I think that was probably the the reason why he's gone. It's such a shame. It is what it is, I suppose. But look, we now have to do something about Hamza Chowdhury because with no Mendy, I don't know what's going to happen with Ndidi. You know, with the likes of Ndidi's contract and stuff. I have no idea who's going to be the real CDM leading into the championship. Um, but, uh, yeah, breaking news there is seven players. Seven players will be out and gone by the summer leading into the next campaign. I can't believe that we've let this happen. Um, obviously, we knew Tete weren't going to be signed up. He's been atrocious I thought this season the only one game that he really looked any good I think was Villa the game against Villa other than that he's been absolutely shocking and I wouldn't have I wouldn't have carried on with him anyway I think he's Brazilian in name only I think uh, terrible terrible our right wing has been a problem for some time um, going going all the way back to obviously selling Riyad Mahrez we have not been able to fill that role on that right side for a very long time now um, but let's just hope that Leicester can sort out the problems with Johnny Evans uh, with his because we've seen on Instagram um, that Leicester City will be back was a post by Johnny Evans so one will assume that his contract will be sorted out for the the, the next campaign but it's a bit sad to see so many players going with the amount of money that we've paid for a lot of those players. But, hey, the wage bill will go down too. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Who's the biggest loss out of the names? I'll just repeat them again. Tielemans, Amate, Perez, Soyuncu, Mendy and Bertrand. Bertrand's not one I'm not too bothered about and Tete's not the other. 
But Soyon choose a big loss. We already knew that was happening. Mendy is a huge one for me. Let me know in the comments who you are going to miss most that's going to impact the club the most on the field going into next season. Make sure you smash the likes on the video. Hit the subscribe button. I shall see you on the next one. See you in a bit.